What's up, party people? I'm Mozart S, and today we're looking at Deckgrounds 2019 Easter event. Uh, and I'm going to start off by saying that this event is not, uh, it's not anything special, guys. It's primarily a login event and some D-Shop stuff, so don't expect anything too crazy or great. Uh, some of the rewards are kind of interesting, though, so I do think it's worth checking out. So let's get right into this. So the Easter season has come to Tristy this year with special trades. You can exchange it with various premiums. So... During this event, uh, you can turn in your, or uh, you can log in, and when you log in, you'll get a, a little Easter egg um, item, and that Easter egg item can be exchanged for various reward, or, uh, rewards. Uh, one of the first things is, is it can be exchanged directly for uh, the uh, Shangri-La coin, which we've seen in previous events, uh, which, you know, you can get a bunch of random stuff from, like a 500% Heffron armor pack, uh, Heffron Weapon Pack, uh, Unique Egg, Papaya Crystal Pack, stuff like that. You guys have seen that before, and you can watch a previous video uh, if you want to know what all that gives. Or check a previous update about the Shangri-La uh, uh, coin event. Uh, you can get Stan Stamina 50, and these are used for uh, AFK farming. And this is probably what I'm going to be exchanging everything for, just because... Uh, I did look, and I, I think it's 21 days that this event is going to be going on. So if you exchange that, uh, you get over 17 hours of AFKing, and I think I'll probably take advantage of that. Uh, you can get a Sakura cookie, and the Sakura cookie, I have a picture of it here, is this crazy strong uh, potion. Uh, it gives 10,000 HP and 10,000 MP. Extremely strong, extremely good for uh, uh, PvP. So if you're PvP focused, I would probably be spending mine on that. Uh, especially since you get 50 of those for three, uh, so that's that's very strong. I would definitely recommend that. Uh, the plier, which you know you use for extracting crests and not breaking them, uh, one for ten, not a good deal. I would not recommend that at all. And then probably the best thing on here uh, is you can get a Sun Essence 3x exchange box, and this is uh, an a, a item that is needed for crafting Helian weapons, and it's only found in the Undo Mizoki Party Dungeon and in the Karen's Crystals uh, uh, microtransaction thing on the website. So this is the only thing you can't really farm by yourself. So I would probably recommend getting this as too. I'll probably pick this up on at least one of my accounts. Uh, but on my main account, I'm probably going to stick with the Stamina 50. I do like here that everything is not tradable. Because this means that people can't be taking advantage of the event, which is uh, great for their own profit. Uh, and the last thing is the Welcome to the New Act box, which, oops, sorry, guys. I have a new picture of that right here. Um, and this was the thing. This is kind of like the Welcome Back pack. It's also the pack you get right now if you create a new account. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, so if you're starting off, this is this is definitely a good pack to get. Um, I'll probably exchange at least one of my characters for this Welcome to the New Act box just because um, I want to see what these other packs have like there's level 51 level 101 and level 151 and i'd kind of like to see what's all in it so um i'll probably do that just to kind of just to kind of see what happens uh but yeah so that's uh, the rewards you can get from the event they are okay not fantastic uh like i said i'm probably gonna go for the stamina 50 just because it'll allow me to afk for 17 hours which i think is pretty good and as you can see here you get your easter egg by just logging in every day which is great and it's going for 21 days so uh, you can see that right here. Uh, I was concerned at first. I'm like, oh, you need 16 to get a Sun Essence. I was like, well, if it only goes for 16 days, that kind of sucks. But they did a pretty good job, and it, it's going for, I think, three weeks, which means that uh, there is some days you can miss, and you'll still be able to get the 16 exchange option. So I am happy that they thought about that. And there is an Easter sale in the D-Shop, and there is... Uh, a uh, it's called Easter Lucky Egg Gacha Box, which basically means random box. So I'm not excited about that at all. Um, and there's a bunch of random stuff you can get in that box. Uh, but if you do get the uh, All Star Pet Lucky Box, which is one of the random items you can get in the box, you can choose one of the following pets, which is pretty pretty good. I I don't know how common it is to get that box, and the thing is, is it is a random box. So even though you get to choose one of these, you still have to get the All Star Pet Lucky Box in the random box in order to get that. So uh, you can see these pets and what these pets give. None of these pets are new, uh, but they they are pretty strong. I mean, you can. Go with whatever you want, whether you want monster damage tolerance, damage decrease rate, uh, max HP, abnormal status resistance, melee res, or PvP attack. They're they're definitely good pets. I mean, I'd kind of like to get the uh, 
the 5 DDR one or the 9% monster damage tolerance pet just because it would be useful to have. Uh, but I'm not going to pay for it. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, that's the Easter event. I, I have to say I'm a little disappointed, guys. I don't know if any of you remember, but in the past during Easter events, they used to always make it so that you could farm some eggs. Uh, and or like get eggs in game without having to, you know, pay in the D shop or farm seeds for the eggs. And, and they just don't do that anymore. And it's really sad because that used to be how I would like get all my pets and stuff was from like the Easter events, but uh, they just didn't do it. I mean, I didn't expect anything great from this event because we did just get action 23, which was a pretty, pretty great event uh, or a pretty good update. And it had a lot of content. So I wasn't expecting anything too crazy, uh, but it still would have been nice to, uh, you know, get something a little bit better than this, which is too bad. Also, I did see, you know, one player mentioned, you know, it'd be nice if we could have more than, you know, 10 pets in total, uh, because, you know, some people like to collect stuff, and I actually completely agree with that. Uh, I don't see why you you can only have 10 pets. I mean, if anything, it would increase their sales, because people would be trying to get more pets anyway. So it's like, why, why only allow for 10 pets? Uh, it'd be cool if, you know, that option was given to players because then players could collect eggs which i think would be kind of fun i mean i would enjoy that but it's not how it goes and we didn't get free eggs so overall i would give this you know event not 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 a great rating i mean it's okay it's pretty boring though it d doesn't get you too excited i will say that they do have a uh, 3x uh, xp and drop rate going on during the event i don't know if it's going to be going on during the whole event or how long it's going to be going on but given that people are trying to get to level 200 right now uh the 3x event is definitely going to be appreciated by pretty much all the players i mean i'm i'm happy that we have a 3x event i, I don't have a ton of time right now to use it but uh it's definitely helpful yeah i think that's uh i think that's all i have for this event guys uh, just to remind you here at the end that I do have a Discord now, so you can find a link to that in the description if you want to chat and hang out with me or if you have any video suggestions or anything like that. Uh, and in terms of the video guy, uh, the videos guys, uh, or this video, I can talk. Uh, as always, if you have any questions or suggestions, you can leave them in the comments. And until next time, guys, take care.